I'm sensing a bit of a theme here today with this shave. I didn't come into this with a theme or an idea. I, uh, but I picked some stuff and as I'm looking at them, I think they're all kind of blue. They're bluish. They're a little bit blue. They're bluey. Anyway, hi everybody. It's Friday. It's time to shave. I, I didn't shave yesterday and uh, so I'm going to shave right now, if that's okay with you. Uh, I got a lot of messages after using this stuff last time. They said, they don't make it anymore. You're using like, like this little tiny puck of Williams mug shaving soap is like, I don't know, like $30. $40? I don't know. It's not that good, folks. So if you miss out, you didn't miss nothing, okay? There's a million other good shaving soaps. But if you do love it, that does suck. So stock up and uh, I'll send you this one because I probably won't use it again. <laughs> send it on the black market, perhaps. <laughs> the black sheep. The... Is there a shaving black market? Like for illegal fat boys? Like fake Rockwells? It's not a Rockwell, it's a Rickwell. You know, that kind of thing. Gillette is spelled with a J. I don't know. I like all that knockoff stuff that you see sometimes, like a Rolex, but it's a, a Rilex or a Rulex. Good stuff. Anyway, okay, enough of that. Let's shave, shall we? So we got, to, what did I just show you? Oh, yes, the mug. We're not going to use that today. We're going to use this that I found in the box of shaving junk. I don't even remember what this is like. I remember getting it because it's got this fancy paper box. It's Nuavia shaving experience. So let's get this out. This is like the fanciest packaging I've ever seen. Totally unnecessary, but hey, you know, not everything has to be necessary. Okay. All right. Look, they even sent me a little thing. That's Sinatra. It's, I promise. I'll see you. Thank you for choosing me. So here, bro. Oh, it's telling me I was born in 2015, handmade in Italy. So there you go. Uh, and it's in Italian on the back. So you can read that if you like. Here, I'll hold it up there in case you want to read it. I guess that's a thing, huh? Check this out. We're not done. We're not done. Look at this. Fancy paper. Fancy tissue paper. Look at this. There's a stick. Of these. They put a lot of money into this because this is a heavy glass jar with a metal lid. They were not skimping out. The folks over at Noavia, over there in Italy. Look at this thing. I don't even know. I don't think it has a scent. I think it's just a color because there were a couple of them. They sent me like two or three of these and this was the blue one. <laughs> so let's open this one up. Um, yeah. Made in Italy. Panna Crema. It's panacrema.com. P-A-N-N-A-C-R-E-M-A. -N -N -A -E anyway, so let's remind myself. Let's remind myself. That's what it looks like. It's very hard. It's a hard one, so it's not like soupy or yogurty. And it smells vaguely. It's just kind of soap, like a nice, slightly scented soap. Uh, yeah, all right. I don't know. That's all I could. If you go back and watch the video that I did with that, because I did it when I first got it, just search Nuavia and it'll come up, I'm sure. All right. We're going to lather up with the West Coast shaving brush. This is the also blue. See, this is blue. This is blue. The shaving soap's blue. And the aftershave. What? Aqua Velva. Classic ice blue. I don't know. It just so happened that that worked out. Everything's some version of blue, which is my favorite color, I think. Blue and green. And uh, yeah, of course, when you're a kid, it's red. Okay, so... <laughs> I took a shower, did my hair, put some hot water up here on my old whiskers, and I do mean old. Birthday's coming up next week, folks. That's all I'll say about it. I don't like it when older people go on and on about their birthday. <laughs> That's just my thing, my pet peeve, but more power to you. What are we going to shave with, folks? Well, we're going to shave with the now unavailable, retired... Sinatra Lennon Murica Shaving Razor from wetshavingclub.com. They don't have it anymore, folks. You missed out. But if you buy one of these, buy the Murica Razor. It's 69 bucks. Fantastic razor. Made here in the USA in a small machine shop. Don't forget, it's got a magnet on the bottom. It's got a magnet. Is there something I can magnetize? Yeah, look at this. Tweezers. Look at this. I, I just invented something. The tweez, the tweezer razor. The razor? The Twazer? I'll get the marketing team on that. Anyway, we're going to use the Sinatra Linen Murica Shaving Razor with a, with a, not a brand new feather blade, but I think I shaved with it once with the, whatever I used last time. I don't keep track. It's terrible. <sighs> this is why talent have managers and agents because right brain people like myself just don't have the knack for business and keeping records and all that jazz. So, all right, let's lather up. This stuff smells good. 
Yeah, it's like a, you know, a, a, a not too strong or overpowering, but a masculine kind of cologne scent. Yeah, I like it. And man, it is rich. And there is a ton in here, and it's going to last a long time. And it's a heavy glass jar. That's the only thing I don't like. I always get a little nervous shaving in my bare feet with a heavy glass jar because it's just going to come down your toe one of these days or shatter. I'm going to close that up, let it dry. I should probably not close it up. All right, here we go. Let's lather up, shall we? I haven't used this shaving brush in a long time. It was their honeycomb series, I think. Got this years ago from my old pal over there who retired. I don't remember. I, I'm drawing a blank on his name, dang it. Shoot, it's been so long. Another thing that I can't keep track of. Information like that. Man, that lather like exploded. So if you're into, uh, you know, Italian shaving soaps or in Italy or you're wherever you are, it's not bad. It smells good. It smells better than the Williams, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And I'll tell you what, uh, what I've been doing. Today, I just got back from a two hour recording session. Now, I can't tell you what I was recording or who it was for or any of that kind of stuff. But it'll be coming out sometime soon. I'm not even sure, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, that was fun. Got to see my old pal that I've been working with for, geez, nigh on 12 years now. But it's been a minute, as the kids say. Is that what the kids say? No cap, it's been a minute. I sound like one of those nerdy, uh, it's kind of like when my grandma, you know, I don't know if this is, was actually true for my grandma or if I just picked it up somewhere along the way, but you know, back in the seventies and eighties when I was, and still am, is super huge into Star Wars, everything, you know, toys and uniform or costumes and props and all that kind of stuff. And the movies, of course, and the TV show. She would say, so what do you, you know, you like if your birthday's coming up, Christmas coming up, what would you like for your birthday, honey? You want one of those Star Trek toys? And I'm like, no, Grandma, it's not, first of all, it's not Star Trek, it's a, uh, and you just knew you were going to get something that you didn't want. Anyway, ooh, I got a little, oh, I got a nick already in the first go round. I, you know, I noticed I was shaving a bit too much there. Uh-oh, Cinnamon's barking at somebody. Probably the mailman. Anyway, so I told you that story where my brother got something he did not want for Christmas, but I'll tell you one, one time that my grandparents came through for us and we both got the exact same toy. This is something you should remember as a, as a parent with you know two children, buy them the exact same thing when they're little. Because one of them is gonna get something and you go, oh, I'll get this other thing for him that's similar. You know, you like buy some action figure and go, oh, I'll get him the other action figure. Yeah, doing the same thing. So anyway, God, I've lost track. I've lost track of time. So my grandparents came through for me and my brother, and we got something called, I think it was called the Hulk Up Muscles. You know, you ever heard of that? It's, it was a very short-lived thing. It was either in the, like, 1981 or something like that. So what it was, and you can search this up, were these inflatable green muscles that you put on like a vest almost and it covers your chest and your shoulders and your biceps and then you could pump it up put a shirt on over it and you look like bruce banner you look like a skinny guy and then you pump it up and then the muscles pump up oh that was so cool i still love that thing i've seen them going on ebay for like you know 300 dollars or something for a little bit of green vinyl from 1981 but man that was the coolest thing thank you grandpa jack and noni thank you both <laughs> for coming through at least once. At least once. All right, here we go. We're going with the second pass here. And we're going to shave across the grain. So anyway, yes, I just got finished doing a two-hour-long recording session, and I've got some more stuff tomorrow. This never happens, folks. This never happens. I mean, I've got my normal voiceover gig that I do. But it's been a while, especially with, you know, everything going on the past couple of years since I've, you know, been invited to go into a recording studio again. So it's great. Today was a lot of fun because they, the, uh, the guy I worked with forever and the, uh, the woman who had written it, they were as nerdy as I am. So I was dropping these nerdy references, you know, <laughs> while we were recording because we goof around and we have fun and we joke and we talk about pop culture and we talk about movies and, uh, 
But yeah, I was I was dropping some obscure references and they were getting it immediately. I was like, ah, these are my people. These are my people. Because I am a nerd, a dork, a doofus at heart. I always will be. And I'm proud of it. I used to be mortified when I was 13 or 14, but uh, it wasn't cool back then to be nerdy. All the times they are a shonging. If you get that one. Every now and then, I'll, I'll drop some reference in one of these videos, and then like six months later, someone will say, Hey, that's from, you know, so-and-so. I was like, yes, I knew. I knew someone would get it. Ooh, okay. I feel like I'm a little bit hyper today. I did have four cups of coffee this morning, and I just finished eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, Lay's original brand potato chips, <laughs> and a Coke Zero. <laughs> Am I American or what? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Oh, or do you just call them peanut butter sandwiches? We call them peanut butter and jelly, but some people just say, give me a peanut butter sandwich, and they bring it over with peanut butter and jelly. Am I right? I think I'm right. Okay. This is, I take, you know, even though they don't sell the one that says Sinatra Lennon anymore, go to wetshavingclub.com and buy the Merca razor. And uh, these things are fantastic. I love it. This is, this is right up there with my Rockwell. And that's why I wanted to put my name on it, because I thought it was so good. And I like that it's hand-machined here in the U.S., you know? Help out small businesses, wherever you live. Okay. And I'll tell you, that is... That's a good razor. And a good blade. Oh, that reminds me. As I lather up, I'll talk about that. So, as we all know, especially these days, the uh, price of everything is up. Inflation is up. Things that used to cost, whatever they used to cost, now cost a lot more, yada, 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 you know, all that stuff. So I've been using feather blades forever, and that is my favorite, and that's my thing. And I only have four, oh, by the way, someone reminded me, these are called tucks of razors. These little things, that's a tuck. <laughs> Gotta tuck them back in. I'll leave them out, because he did fall in the wet sink, and I don't want it to rust, so I'll leave that out in the sun. You're up next. Stay there. There we go. So I only have four more of these, and it's like, well, I gotta buy some more feathers. And I did look online because when I first bought it, like years ago, it was like fourteen dollars for a hundred of them, and now it's you know thirty-seven dollars for a hundred of them. I was like, oof. So you know, when people hear me talk about how much I love them and stuff, and they say you need to try some Astra blades, they are my favorite. They're better than feather. Yada yada yada. Why am I saying that? You just get stuck. You know, your brain gets stuck. It's all the voices I was doing today. That's what it is. It's the coffee and the voices, the voices inside my head. Any hoozles, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, so they are, they're all saying, you should try, if you like feather, try Astro Blades. And I don't know if I have. I probably could have. I looked through my drawer just before this video. I don't have any. I'm sure I must have, but I just don't remember. So I ordered some. $10 for 100 This is why I use a wet a safety razor. $10 for a hundred razor blades? Are you kidding me? That will last you forever. So if you bought this, this is 69 bucks, 80 bucks will last you for a couple of years. And then you just buy the, the blades again. So if you're on the fence about whether to try shaving like this, it's not scary, it's easy. Take your time, don't do what I do. Do as I say, not as I do. And it is so cost effective, it will make There'll be, there's lots of reasons why shaving like this is more pleasurable to me, to me. There'll always be a spot and a, a market or an audience for cartridge razors. And if it works better for you, go for it. But if you're on the fence, this is why I do this. So I ordered a hundred, which is probably dumb because what if I don't like them, for 10 bucks. So they'll be coming tomorrow, I believe. So I couldn't use one today, but I'm gonna try it out I guess I'll uh, use them a little bit during the weekend, and uh, I guess twice. And then on Monday, when I do my uh, Monday video, I'll do it then, I'll talk about it. Talk a little bit about my experience. So whoever steered me towards the Astro, oh, you better. Mm. It is a nice price though, I mean, my goodness. Now here's something I hadn't thought of, and somebody else had mentioned a while back. There are counterfeit razor blades. Like, like, like we were talking about knockoffs earlier, Rulex, 
um, there are counterfeit feather blades. There are counterfeit, like these popular brand names. I, from what I understand, I don't know if it's true or not, but people have said, well, there are fakes and they get them off Amazon and you don't know if it's a real one or not. So, uh, it's like, really? Somebody's taking the time to fake a razor blade. Honestly, I mean, you can't make that much money off it, can you? 37 bucks for a hundred, I guess, pretty good. Okay, so let's rinse down and feel for the problem spots. You know where they are. Ooh, hey, I tell you what, that's pretty close. This is a good razor. Go to wetshavingclub.com. They're kind of like a Dollar Shave Club or Harry's where you can subscribe, but it's a safety razor instead. They're not paying for me, me for this. They sent this to me a long time ago. They're very nice. I just think it's kind of cool that they have a shaving subscription using safety razors and normal razor blades, double-edged razor blades. So good luck to y'all. Oh, man, that is... I'll never rest till I get the last whisker. The last whisker. Pretty soon I'll be getting so crazy you'll see me shaving the back of my head, my ears, and my eyebrows. If that's the case, call the police. Do you have any rubber walrus protectors? Okay, I need to stop doing those dumb references. Okay, let's wash off. Put some of this aqua velva on. Aqua velva. I'm not a big fan of this scent, but I haven't used it in so long. I thought, what the heck? It's one of those things where you put it on and then you're constantly smelling it, you know, because you're not used to the scent. Like if you put on your favorite, like my favorite cologne or, you know, the crema or whatever I normally use on a daily basis, it disappears after the initial application. But I guarantee the rest of the day I'll be smelling this like an old barber shop, you know. So but let's do it. America's original aftershave. Aqua Velva Ice Blue has been a classic American scent since 1917. There you go. It's flammable, but don't drink it, okay? It's kind of a pretty blue. Blue is my favorite color, I must say. All right, there we go. Maybe I'll just put a little bit of a splash on with one hand so I'm not overwhelmed. <laughs> there is something pleasant about this scent. You know, it is so classic. And if you grew up, if you ever went to like a barber shop in, uh, uh, when you were a kid, like in the 70s or 80s, like one of those old school barbershops, you probably smelled something like this. So that's what it reminds me of. Not that I was hanging out in barbershops. I don't know. I think I need to shut this video down. I uh, That four cups of coffee and all that acting I did has got my brain in high gear. And it's kind of starting to annoy me. So I apologize. Uh, how are the Knicks doing? I think I've got another one, but it's in the same place. It's always this bumpy chin of mine. Thanks a lot, acne. Anyway, that's it. Whew. Oh man, I gotta take a rest after all that. Kids are coming home from school though, so I can't rest and I gotta go back to work. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you have a great shave, have a great week. If you have any questions, leave them down here. I read every single comment. Um, yeah, I don't have any shout outs this week. So shout out to you. Shout out to everybody. All right, everyone. I'll talk about what I recorded later when it's released, but I'm not going to talk about what it is now, nor will I talk about tomorrow's thing. Anyway, all right, everyone. Whew. Time for another cup of coffee.